Afternoon guys, how you doing? Elton from Erin Earth here. Uh, I'm out here on the verge, out the front of side of, out front of Erin Earth as you can see. Uh, it was grass, no longer. It's taken a couple of months, but you know, pulled up the grass, put in the mulch, native trees, native plants. As they grow, it's gonna look amazing. And I'm gonna put some more in today. So, what I've got here is some beautiful wallaby grass. Really good stuff. Follow me. So, as you can see here, I've got already some grasses in. Kangaroo grass, which is a big brother, I suppose, of the wallaby grass. Now, I'm gonna plant out here, I don't know, maybe half this tray, which would be about 15 or so plants, about so far apart. Uh, so when they grow up, big and strong, it'll be like a little nest of, I suppose, ecosystem, you know? One of the things that wallaby grass is really good for, and why I'm planting it out, is the flowers, the seeds. Native hoverflies and native bees love this stuff. They just go up to them and just have a bit of a drink, have a bit of a suck. And in turn from there, they'll jump inside. Hopefully, that's my plan anyway. This is to get them here to the gate, and then they'll jump through the fence and start pollinating everything else in the garden and keep it going and thriving really well. So, as you can see, it's in this tray and a little trick, sometimes it's hard to get out of these little trays. I had it in um, a wheelbarrow of water, which soaked it all up, got it all wet, so I could just push them out easy. That's a little trick you can use for getting, you know, pots out of, plants out of pots that are really hard to get out. So I'm going to kind of mark out where I'm going to put them. Yeah, one, two, be really sporadic. Nature doesn't have lines, you know. Trees grow and plants grow in different, different spots. They just happen, you know. So as you can see, this is still quite damp in here, which is really good. Just pull my bit of plastic out there. I've got some plastic underneath there to stop the weeds coming up. Check the depth. I'm gonna go a bit more. Bit of a tease. As you can see, it's been in the pot probably too long. It's a little bit root bound. There's so many roots and stuff, so I'm gonna give it a good tease. Try and get a bit of air going in it. All right, so. Here we go. That's in, that's one. So, number two, same deal. Pop another one out. Just like that. Give it a bit of a massage, a bit of a shake. Make sure it fits in there. Number two. And we'll do our third one over here for today. So these can grow quite large, up to a metre tall. But because they're so close, they're not going to get that big, these ones. They're just going to bush up together and it's going to be like a native grassland, I suppose, a small one out the front of Erin Earth. That's the hope. That's the plan anyway. Put them in, just like that. I'm probably going to do, like I said, another 10 more or so, just spot around the area, give them a water in. Hopefully in, you know, a year, I'll have a nice little native Erin Earth Meadow out the front of our gate. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, don't hesitate to, you know, email us or check us out on Facebook. And look forward to our next video, which I think we'll do succulents. Have a good one.